Greetings and welcome to newszimbabwe.com news. My name is Tatenda Dembeza. In our headlines, Nelson Chamisa says he was anointed as MDC leader by Morgan Changirai. In parliament, Joseph Chinotimba slams quarreling MPs Mliswa and Nduna. In sports, ex-warrior striker Kingston Carter returns to South African football. In business, MPs urged to scrutinize government agreements before signing. And lastly, in the arts, Chinos makes fun of Valentine's Day. And now the story is in greater detail. MDC leader Nelson Chamisa says he was anointed as the main opposition's leader by his late boss, Morgan Shangirai, who died after a long battle with colon cancer February 14 last year. He was addressing hundreds of party supporters who gathered at a Harare showgrounds hall to remember the late founding MDC leader. Chamisa said when he was summoned by Changirai to inform him that he was choice for successor, he first declined, telling his late boss that if he was to become successor, then MDC Vice President Togozan Kupe would collapse in shock. <laughs> Still on the Changirai Memorial event, the late opposition leader's widow Elizabeth Changirai revealed that a group of medical doctors from France, United States, and England all came together in a bid to save a husband from death, but all was in vain. Elizabeth spoke fondly about the former Prime Minister whom she married after the tragic death of Changrai's first wife Susan in a car accident 2009. Changrai had doctors from France, from the States, from England, who came to a taxi for not to he was a loved man. I think on the way side is our Changirai. He was just he was a hero. The doctors came again. We told you that we are going to get some answers. We have prepared the serum. If I go, that's when I go to the dia. I think I shall, I shall, I shall come out. You know. President Emerson Mnangagwa has made a veiled attack on MDC leader Nelson Chamisa whom he said should stop grandstanding and playing games with the people. This comes after the opposition leader refused to attend a status meeting which Mnangagwa had called for his opponents to craft a framework for a national dialogue. Mnangagwa, who did not mention Chamisa by name, was addressing foreign ambassadors accredited to Zimbabwe at State House on Thursday. All the presidential candidates who have the maturity and a sense of leadership joined us. I call on those who refuse to take part in the national dialogue to stop grand standing and the playing games with the lives of the people of our beloved Zimbabwe. Condom distributors have called on government to scrap VAT and duty on condoms in a bid to make contraception more affordable to ordinary Zimbabweans. Magna Chawira, a pharmacist, made the call on the sidelines of the International Condom Day commemorations in Harare on Thursday. So we're advocating exemption of tax as exemption of duty. For example, in Zambia they do that. They exempt uh, tax on essential things like condoms. So the prices are quite reasonable and everyone can afford to buy them. That's what we want in line with the zero, zero tolerance to new HIV infections that we're advocating for. 
International Condom Day seeks to promote the use of condoms as a means of preventing unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. We are taking a short break. We'll be back in a moment. Many people have been asking me how did I manage it because they could see that everything was there, everything was just happening, people, things were being paid. So I've told people that uh, it was through the Aspera Funeral Cash Plan. So I would advise everyone to join this uh, Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan. Their policy is good because it took all the weight off my shoulders. In Parliament, ZANU PF MP for Buhera South, Joseph Chinotimba, has slammed fellow legislators Dexter Nduna and Temba Mliswa following their quarrel during a Mines Committee meeting in Parliament early this week. Chinotimba, who is the country's happiness ambassador, recently returned from Dubai where he attended a happiness summit. He was addressing journalists inside Parliament building on Thursday. <laughs> As it is, uh, happiness of the MPs because uh, such kind in Dubai, such kind of MPs are not allowed in, in the parliament because they don't teach even the one which call. If a teacher who is teaching one which call at one department which call a chihuahua on a public, such kind of a teacher makes himself to be an idiot teacher. So I'm not saying this because they are idiot. I'm talking about teachers. So, I'm, I'm not happy because when they say, we go to buy Mazimbabwe, they were asking me, what kind of MP are you? Look what you are, your people are doing, other MPs. Such, such things as we do, which are very happy. In business, Speaker of the National Assembly, Jacob Mudenda, says MPs must take time to scrutinize trade agreements being negotiated by the executive so that they can knowledgeably exercise their oversight role in terms of approving the deals before they are finalized. Mudenda made the remarks this week when he was addressing MPs at a function held to deliberate on trade-related issues in Harare. Since becoming state leader, President Emerson Nangagwa has been touring the world signing so-called mega deals with parliament often sidelined. In sports, former warrior striker Kingston Carter has made a return to South African football after reportedly agreeing an 18-month contract with national first division side Bombela United. Bombela United confirmed the signing on their official Twitter account on Tuesday. Nkata returns to South African football after an unsuccessful spell at Dynamos which ended prematurely after he was released by the club after failing out with the leadership at the Harare Giants. In the arts, Hilarious Buhera South MP Joseph Chinotimba on Thursday wore his comic character and fake confusion around Valentine's Day. He had been asked by journalists inside Parliament building on his thoughts about a day celebrated every 14 February by couples. Nasi is what a Valentine is like. Nasi 14 is not a Valentine. What do you mean? Today is 14 February. It has never been said it's 14 years of Valentine. If you want to name that 14 February, then you remove 14. Then you say Valentine. To end this news bulletin, here's a recap of our main stories. Nelson Chamisa says he was anointed as MDC leader by Morgan Changirai. In Parliament, Joseph Chinotimba slams quarreling MPs. Liswa and Nduna. And in sports, ex warrior striker Kingston Carter returns to South African football. For these and more stories, visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and our YouTube channel, Newsim TV.